Welcome, welcome to my channel, folks. It's Nicolasa, and I'm joining you from my new office in Texas. Folks, it's hot, it's hot. We did get here around two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. And of course, <clears throat> the move was, yeah, we're on our second go round for the move, okay? So, <laughs> Um, it, it is long and, and coming and I'm, I'll, I'll be back on camera soon. I'm just really, really tired these days. Anyway, let's get to the point of why you are joining me today. First of all, you're joining me because you're awesome and I'm awesome. We know, we know, but what I want to share with you and put in frame so you could see something is FedEx just rang my bell. So I have this that goes inside of the big package. Let's do the big package first, okay? So let's go ahead. Right when I was getting ready to film, um, FedEx rang the bell. What I do have in front of you and on my desk are all the things needed for this package. I do have my Huggies Natural Care Baby Wipes. You know what that's about. Um, I have a few things here that I wanna talk about as we go through and just kind of mention these things to you. I'm not doing a rehab on camera today. I am going to just assess what I have inside my big box and then we'll go from there, okay? So if you look at the title, of course, you already know what's inside this big, lovely baby, okay? Which is, I'll keep the box over here, um, the No Aegean, okay? It is a vintage item from um, Louis Vuitton. I think the date is 1997. And as I get in here, I'm gonna explain why I wanted this. First of all, you know I love vintage because you are subscribers to my channel and you know how I feel about vintage. Um, this wasn't wrapped too good, but we're, we're, we're okay. Um, it just was out um, in the box, but we're gonna, we're gonna go with it, okay? Little dry on my Viketta. But let me tell you what's going on with this bag and why I wanted it. Number one, I have come to love the Noe. I have the Petite Noe and I also have the Neo Noe. And um, I have a few of those bags. So if you go back into my videos, you'll see that um, I love the Noe. The GM is one, of the, is one of those bags where I thought it's too big for you. Please don't try it, blah, 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 blah. And I'll tell you the reason why I picked this up. I picked this up off of Macari. I picked it up um, because of three reasons. One, I love the old canvas. There is nothing like Louis Vuitton old canvas. Two, I love the real or the thick brass hardware that you typically don't get um, today on Louis Vuitton. I also love the fact that I can get limited edition items and or items that are no longer available. So if you check Louis Vuitton's website, this is going for 1960 and the bag is no longer available. Like it says, you know, we'll alert you when it's available. Um, it's from June 1997, like I said, and guess what? Look at that wear. That wear is very minor. Now I do have some dry areas on my corners, which I plan to hit up with some leather conditioner. I do have a water spot. And in the pictures, I want it to see was this hard. If it was hard, folks, that's a whole nother thing. And it's like ready to crack like now. It's not hard. So I'm very happy about that. Because what I'm going to do, and I'm not, I don't care so much to even this out. And the reason being is because I wanted a carefree, um, not every day, but a carefree bag. Like I didn't want to deal with, oh, I can't, you know, get in the rain and I can't, you know, do this, that, or the third. So I am very happy with what I see so far. I do have dryness around my trim, but my Vaketa is very light so far. It is, it's light and it's doable. All I have to do is polish my brass and even this is nice. My shoulder strap is nice, a little dry, like I said. So I might, you know, touch it up really with, oh, let me think about it. The reason I'm thinking about it is because I wanna know if I should start with my baby wipes and I think I can because my, my leather is not that dry. But as soon as I get those baby wipes on there, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it up with um, some conditioner, okay? So let me talk about 
that stuff in just one moment. So this is like a um, multi-faceted video. You get the reveal, you get the little bit of cleaning tips, you get all of that good stuff in one. Um, the person did say that I might need a new strap. I think they said that because they know this strap is gone. This strap is done, okay? And so they were right, I do. And so instead of getting a strap though, I'm going to get um, a scarf. I'm gonna put a scarf through it for now. And then later, I think I'm going to get it replaced uh, either from Etsy or Louis Vuitton, whatever, this, this is broken. So that's why they said that, okay? All right. Let's go into the second package that I did receive, and then I'm going to go into a little bit of tips about this bag um, and how I'm planning to clean it. All right, I'm not going to do it on camera. I'm going to have to get off camera because I like to pay attention. There is my D-ring over there. All right, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load it up, clean it, load it up. You see the befores, right? And then once I load it up, clean it and load it up, I'm going to come back with her completely clean and decorated and uh, she is my birthday gift to myself guess how much i paid go ahead i'll wait yep you got it you didn't get it three hundred dollars okay not only did this only cost three hundred dollars it actually came with a cartier wallet which i do not plan to keep um, i'm going to clean up the cartier wallet i hope that this is authentic um because <laughs> i don't know anything about cartier and I'm going to list this um, on like eBay or something because I don't I don't use this. I already have like my LV stuff. I don't absolutely don't need to use this. I don't know if this is if this, if this is authentic. I don't feel like it is. I have no idea. So anyway, all right, that's the Cartier wallet. <clears throat> this is authentic. It was authenticated. Um, on Macari. So I wonder, because it was listed together, if this is authenticated, is this authenticated as well? I'm not sure. I will find out. Okay, let's go into the second package that I did receive, which is right here from FedEx. Just so you guys know, I did order this from Amazon, and um, I've got my um, candle over here. I'm like, is that burning my purse? Let's move that. Uh, I ordered this from Amazon. Do not pay attention to the time frame that they give you when they say it's going to be um, a month from Zumani. It's never a month. Every time I order from them, I get what I need in two weeks flat. I promise you. I order from them all the time with Amazon Prime. So just kind of sharing a tip there with you if you're kind of put off by the fact that it's going to be a month. Um, it never is that long, guys, and it's coming from overseas. I love Zumani. I think I've said it before in a couple of uh, videos that I absolutely love them. They are my organizer brand of choice. I've had some Orga. I've had the other one. I forgot what it's called. But my preference is always Zumani, Zumani, okay? And the reason, I don't know why. I just, I like it. I like how thick the the um, item is, the uh, felt, I think it's felt, and I like the quality. Now, normally with my Zamani, I remove the water pouch, um, but I'm not going to do that in this case. I think I'm going to keep it, okay? Because this bag is so big and you can use it for travel, I think I'm going to keep my water pouch. And I absolutely need more water in my life, so why not? So that is the color mauve pink. She is drop dead gorgeous. Anytime I have a big Louis Vuitton bag, I have to have an organizer inside because otherwise it's a big black hole like people say. They send you a thank you, which I think is very sweet. Um, oh, she smells good too. She smells really good. So here is the Zuma, oh, hold on. She's wet on the bottom. I'm not sure why. This thing is wet on the bottom. I think it's because like in Texas yesterday, we had the worst um, rain. And so I don't know if this got a little wet on, on the bottom. It's okay. It just feels like a little water. 
but kind of threw me off. Okay, so uh, you have this slip pocket here, probably for an iPad. You do have two pockets on the inside along with a pen pouch or pencil, which I totally love because uh, I do carry a pouch with me, a pencil pouch, a pen pouch, sorry. But um, if I could just slide my pen in there, it's easy to just kind of slide out when you're signing for things. You do have slip pocket on the side, and I love this little doohickey. I use this for my CarMax. So you guys know I love CarMax. Um, I love it so much, it's on my desk. There you go. I have several of those. I keep that in there along with the lip gloss, and it's so easy to access when it's in your purse, okay? So let's go ahead and um, finish this up. So another slip pocket here, um, and then again, of course, your uh, water holder. Now, I normally cut this out, like I said, and I just have this open and free. Now that I'm looking at this, this might, I have a no way, a petite no way bucket bag, and I'm wondering, but it can't be the same size. I don't think they're the same width. Maybe they are, okay? Who knows? All right, let me wrap up by saying this. I'm going to come back with my bag, decorate it with my um, you know, accessories basically with my scarf, with all that stuff. And what I want to talk about, about my No Way GM is this. I usually clean my items no matter where they're coming from. I start with a Huggies baby wipe to my canvas just to get off surface dirt, travel dirt, COVID, whatever. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I use this and this is um, non-alcohol, uh, baby wipes, fragrance-free, non-alcohol baby wipes. You either love baby wipes or you hate them on your LV. I particularly love them on my LV. So I am going to start with that just to wipe it down a little bit. Um, then I'm going to polish up my brass. So I'm going to do that using my metal polish from Blue Magic. Now I can use this or I can use brass. So I like both of them. So I will use whichever one is handy and this one happened to be handy. I will do that carefully with a Q-tip, okay? Um, the next thing that I will do is I will clean the leather, which is my Vaquetta here, uh, with this leather cleaner from Apple. I do love, love, love this. Um, I'm running out. I have like a little in there. It's enough for this bag. Um, if it's dry, I'm gonna follow up with some conditioner. I do have my coach conditioner here. I don't normally use this. I'm finishing this bottle, by the way, because it was expensive and number two, it has silicone in it. And the reason I don't use it is because over time that builds up is, is at least what I was told. So instead of throwing it out, because I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna finish this bottle up of conditioner. And then when I'm done, my leather CPR is what I normally use all the time. Um, I do have two other things here. This Colonel uh, leather gel. I did buy this because I saw a YouTuber talking about it um, for her Vanderspeck, I think it was, planner. And I did not like this. I felt like, um, I don't know, this put a coating on my stuff. I don't like, I don't like it to feel like it has a coating. So, but it works. I mean, it does. It's a leather gel. And uh, it waterproofs too, which is what I did not like. So uh, just showing it to you in case you're wondering. Now, if I had trouble with this bag, meaning it was completely soiled and whatever, I would just skip the whole apple cleaner and I'm gonna go straight for the tried and true, which is saddle soap, okay? You can get it from Phoebing or you can get the cheaper version Kiwi saddle soap. Um, from anywhere, Walmart, Target, whatever. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I have had great success with this. Um, no drying, no cracking. I mean, this stuff is the truth. They use it on saddles. Um, and I think one person, Hunter, I think it is from the group Louis Vuitton Goldmine mentioned, saddles are not cheap, okay? So if they can use this on saddles, you can use it on your bag. By the way, Think about Louis Vuitton is, is, is an authentic and luxury brand, but guess what? At the end of the day, this is canvas, and at the end of the day, this is leather. So you wanna just treat it like what it is, okay? And clean it accordingly. This Ammo Dex is new to me. It's an ink and stain remover. I did get mine from Hobby Lobby. You can get yours from there, or you can get yours from Amazon. 
I read great reviews about this and I ended up um, using this on a Wappity that I have along with my baby wipes and guess what? Ink came out. It did. I had, I had ink on my canvas for that and it came out. I was very, I am very impressed with this. So, all right, you guys, I'm gonna clean her up. I'm gonna clean the baby up and I'm going to come back and show you what she looks like. This is perfect. Like this doesn't need cleaning at all. I love the fact that it has a little use because what I plan to do is use it. So I don't want it to look brand new and I love the even honey patina and I absolutely don't want to darken this bag. So I'm not gonna go ham at it because it doesn't need it. I bought a bag that didn't need a lot of work on purpose. Um, I do have a crack there, you see that? So you have to be very careful um, at some point and, and that's just, it's surface, but it, it can get bad. Um, at some point, I'm going to replace the leather, but absolutely no time soon, okay? You guys rock. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you want to see me do. I'll be back with her completely clean. And uh, yeah, all right. Talk to you soon. Thank you.